it's just basic stuff. I think nobody tells you, or no, it's a sort of an unwritten rule, but there are certain things all men need to know how to do. Women certainly expect them to know how to do certain things, like if your tap's dripping, you should be able to fix it, it's fairly basic. If, you're, if you're, you've got a flat tire in the car, you should be able to change the tire very easily. And, you know, it, basic stuff and, you know, I don't know, diving into a, into a river and wrestling with an alligator and stuff. Really easy stuff that all men should be able to do. And the stuff that all men from a bygone age could do, and they went to school and they learned how to do this stuff. Um, I thought, I need to know how to do this, and I know that other men need to know how to do this. So, Man Skills was born, and as it was a book full of skills for men, Man Skills seemed an appropriate time for me. It needs to be firm, it needs to be a couple of some pumps, shall we say, and at the same time you need to have eye contact. Now, if your hand is a little bit wet, and it looks like you're not committing, it looks like you're not interested, the man's not going to trust you. If, on the other hand, it's too fierce, and you break the other man's hand, or you make him wince, should we say, um, he's going to wonder what you're up to. He's going to think, well, this man's trying to sort of get the upper hand on me, he's, 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 he's trying to prove something. Um, so, you've got to get it in between. And the point of this is that people apparently form an opinion of you in the first 20 seconds. So if you don't get your handshake right, you're done for. I think we've probably all walked across a field and noticed the cow over there is not a cow and it's got big horns and it's doing that little foot thing that they do. Uh, but at that point, if you're on its territory, it's a little bit late. So if you don't know how to escape from him, you're, you're possibly dead. He'll trample you on the foot and then get his nose and throw you up in the air like they do in Spain, I think. Um, but if you find yourself in that field, you're going to have to act very quickly and remain very calm. And the trick simply, because the, the whole business about bulls going for red is, is nonsense. They actually go for movement. So if you remain still and the bull approaches you, you'll probably be trembling a little bit, but try to remain as still as you can and take off your overcoat, for example, if it's overcoat weather. Hold it out as if you were some sort of matador type character. As he comes to within about 15, 20 feet, throw it away, over to the side. He's stupid, he'll go that way which will give you a bit of time to go over there. And if he's got over there and he's realized, I'm trying to gorge an overcoat, and he realizes you're over there, well, he'll, he'll probably come back for you again, so, which is when you have to stand still again, repeat the process. So you have to take your top off, and you have to hold it out, throw it on that. And eventually, you basically have to get to the fence or get to safety in stages, if need be. But if the alternative's death, it's, you know, you're gonna be prepared to do that. I mean, it's very simple. All you would do, you, the forefinger and thumb, you would uh, you would go behind the back and do this sort of thing. You'd, you'd have to find the mechanism, and you'd have to sort of sort of push until the until the, the bra mechanism came together, and then it comes apart. And you just it's really easy because then it just it just drops off, and uh, you can you'd be on your way. I mean. The night is yours. You can, I'm not going to go into what else you might get up to. That's not my business. But at least the bra is now off and uh, you can be on your way. Um, I, I believe there's a there's a mark, certainly a market for this. But from talking to people, trying to compile the list and realizing how many of my friends are sadly lacking in so many of these skills. I know that there are. I'm not alone, shall we say, which is reassuring. But. Um, there may never come a time when I need to dive into the river and save someone who's drowning or, or you know, perform the Heimlich manoeuvre or uh, escape from a dog that's trying to savage my leg or whatever. But imagine if there is a time and I don't know these skills, I'm pretty much done for and I'm too young to die. <laughs>